This is my 30 day challenge using paper napkins. Hello friends, welcome to my mixed media crowns. I am making these crowns today with rolls and napkins. So the fancy napkins and today I don't really have to paint too much. Although I do add a little gesso and some gold and different metallic paints on it as detail. And I'm just here was repairing some of the little ends that are sticking up and now I'm cutting out my shapes of my crown, playing with different designs. So that's what I do with the first part here is making my crown. I do um, do quite, I just love playing with these mixed media crowns. You can make them for um, different assemblage art or um, if you're making um, little characters or statues or whatever, they can be used as paper napkin holders, as paper rings or napkin rings. So they are, can be used for unique different little things. Um, you can put them on ornaments, as ornaments on things. So I just love these things. There's so many things I can use them for. I've actually used them on um, little bird statues I've made and different things. So it could be topper on a box, anything. So love these things. They're just so versatile. So here I am using my um, decoupage decoupage and I'm just putting it all over my toilet paper roll crown and I'm wrapping it up and just tearing it away and that's how I do it. Easy peasy. It gets a little sticky but what's not sticky? So I just do that, get the roll back or the uh, napkin inside and do both sides and if I have anything at the end to kind of snip off, I do snip off. I try to wrap a lot of it around um, on the inside of the crown and pull some away and tear some away and that kind of thing and um, yeah this one I was a little bit more trying to get it in there but I kind of just pour, tore the other ones away when the glue was wet and it worked great too. So um, it's an easy way to cover the crowns in a different way. Um, one time before this I made them I think I just them all and then paint them all um, gold and whatnot but um, I might have even covered some with some music paper and that kind of thing. So today's crowns were all covered in um, napkins and I love them. They turn out great. And then I just gessoed the inside of the crown with white gesso. So it's perfect. So all I'm doing is exactly the same thing as wrapping the choice of napkin I like over and around um, my roll, my crown roll. closing the door because the dog's working. So I did a couple of pointy type of crowns and I did the, try to do a couple of them really unique crowns as well. So just playing with that I got some really neat um, napkins and I used three different napkins for each. I mean I used each, there's five crowns, I used each of them was a different napkin so nothing was the same so it's really fun. Just doing it all. This one I tore it away. It was a little easier. So yeah, I was like, yeah, what am I fussing about? Don't fuss. Mm, it's okay. Nothing that um, paint can't cover up a little bit here and there. So if there's anything that ripped away too much. So here is another one. I love this one. This one's one of my favorite ones. I used a Paris napkin and it's got writing all over it and um, it's got a little uh, scroll on the front of it where the crown is and I just thought it was so cute. It had like a little name thing, Maison something on there. What does it say? Maison Blanche I think it said. Let's see. Maison Blanche. Yeah. So um, I thought that was really cute on that crown. And here is my last one I believe and this one I used some nice uh, one of my favorite napkins with the uh, little flowers on them thinking like the blossoms little apple blossoms or something like that it was like a nice blue it's so pretty so that's the five crowns I believe I got them all now and so now I'm getting the inside with gesso white gesso and I'm doing it every crown I wasn't gonna do them all but I'm like yeah I'm gonna do them all and so I did it gives it more um, it gets it more secure it dries nice and firm I like it and I got all of them with gesso and I really this project took me two hours to do I know five of these but it doesn't have to take you that long I was just really fiddling and playing and trying to get really 
just enjoying the process and really trying to get some detail in there. Um, I've d done them where they take a half an hour and I've done it like a half a dozen or you know even more probably about 10 I think the last time I did them and I did them really quickly too so it's but they all turn out really great as well but this one I was just kind of fussing a little bit more of my paint jobs and stuff like that so I did the inside with gold and I use all the paints I use is um, from deco art and this is the uh, Venetian gold I believe and I love this one. It's one of my favorite golds and it's the little uh, bottle right there I think it's a two ounce bottle Um, I go over it a little bit just to get my end, ends, edges, kind of gold going over my edges because I want that look. So I do the bottom edges and once that dries I do the top edges. And I really like that. So I think I do a quick little, like, look at these, but I'm going so fast. <laughs> I, I really speed it up really fast, like eight times here. And my camera's moving. Sorry about that, guys. So I put some jewels on them, and I did record all of this. I mean, I did record all of it, but I kind of took some of it out because it was just hard to see what I was exactly doing in this part. So um, I just have some of the jewels thing. So I'm just throwing some gems there. They're so cool. I have this pearlex, pink pearlex, and I, I was doing this one, and I used pink pearlex net cap and a little bit of jewelry pendant gel. I poured it in there, mix it up, and use that as a kind of a pearly paint over it, and just to get that that one a little bit more pearly, pinky color all over that crown. And because my um, flower leaf thing that I glued on there was kind of a, a rusty color, almost I want to change that, and I did. So I was really having fun with this and playing with it. Using using my hot glue gun to glue the little gems on and I'm using my little grabber scissor thingamajiggies <laughs> to put them on so I don't burn myself. It was just awesome. That was that one. And I go back and fiddle with all of them. I was so playing with this, so, them so much. It was fun. I even thought I was done, stopped my video, and then I went and grabbed a bin and I'm like, oh, look at these. I got these different flowers and all that kind of thing. So yeah, this gem part took a long time. I can't believe I didn't take some more of this out but I just want to guess show you some of the gem putting on but I did take a long time to do and when I dumped them out I had to flip bunch of them see if they're the right colors and that kind of thing here I have these little rings now I think the kind that I it was like a really light almost yellowy color green but it's kind of yellowy on this crown and I put the rings just on the tips and I thought it was so cute and then I kind of added a little bit of um, paint to it and all that kind of thing too just to to make it look nice but I absolutely loved it I put the gems around the whole crown and yeah there's that metallic green paint and I just added a little bit um, below my points on my crown and the tad on the little rings the metallic green and I also added some gold on there too because I absolutely love gold I put them on the inside too so it's that metallic on the gold it was really pretty I just absolutely love it. And that green was the um, um, festive green and it's the dazzling metallics. So all the little, was that, that was a dazzling metallics festive, metallics festive green. And I have these little jewels, greenish jewels for the bottom. I absolutely love this one. I think I love all of them. I don't even know which one's my favorite. I have to say this one with the rings on the top and then the blue one the paper towel that had the it was blue and the white so uh, those two are absolutely my favorite and actually this is what I'm working on now I'm decided to I put a bunch of jewels on them and I did take some of that out but now I'm putting birds on top these little doves and I'm glad I didn't take this part out <laughs> so I put these little doves on top and there they are and I thought they were just so cute on this um, crown and then I paint my birds gold. So I paint them all gold. I do a couple of layers on them, make sure they're really nicely painted. I that's what took me so long. I was just playing with it and enjoying myself and just getting it all cute. Cute, cute, cute. I really enjoy these. 
Um, I think that that's the part of it, like, oop, that one came undone. The part of it is like, you know, when I make my own embellishments and things for larger projects and just having the, all the hours put into it, even before you don't even realize when you have embellishments that, um, yeah, it really just makes the things mean more to me anyway. So that is it. There's my beautiful bird crown. And I'm just touching up some gold. Just really want that gold to lap over the edges of my crowns. Here I find these beautiful flowers and I absolutely love them. I don't even know what color to say they are. They are just got a pinky, orangey. They just, they, they almost reflect a bunch of different colors, like a pinky, orangey, purpley in it. I don't even know when the light hits it. So I absolutely love it. So what I did was I put some of these flower ones on two crowns and I put pearls with it too. So you'll see that I think here. So I'm putting the flowers around this crown and then I put the white pearls inside. I'm a little bit at the bottom and I didn't realize. There we go. It's so fast. Um, I'm a little bit at the bottom. I think the main part, part of this video was supposed to be just like, hey, I'm covering up my crown with paper napkin because the challenge I had for international crafters for 30 days of um, I'm using paper napkins. Um, on projects and this is one of them. I should have probably said that at the beginning. So here now I'm putting beads, um, beautiful pearls on top of my birds. So I'm just having so much fun. I put the pearls, um, the whole ends up and down. So then I can put those little pearls right on the, on the little bit of the whole end. So then they balance nice and they don't want to break off too easy. It's got a little bit of a flat edge. And I can't believe I'm so low. Didn't even check my camera as well, I guess. Then I dry the webs right off because you know those glue webs, they're just in the way. Love it. So I grab a little bit of green and want to oop, need to mix it up. It was a little too much of the other stuff in that, you know, when you don't mix it up, that clear stuff. Anyway, so I mix it up and I put the top beads green. And there it is. There is my crown. Now I kind of go slower at this part here. And I'm showing you guys my crown. So there is my beautiful blue. I actually painted some of the background on my napkin that was white. I painted with that metallic green. And that's how I was able to pull in that green beads that I painted on top. With my golden birds, golden doves. And there it is. Isn't that pretty? I absolutely had so much fun with these. And I could have went more with like little Posca pens and dashes and whatever. But... Uh, who knows if I will still, but I'm just having had so much fun and I spent like two hours on these guys just playing around. So, yeah, I think I'm done with them. But there's the next one here and I want to do this part slow, like the real time showing you. There's those flowers. I put the beads inside because they had a hole and the little glue, glue dab was coming through and I wanted to look finished. I put the beads on top. And there's that one with the rings. I put a little bit of the green and the gold on the ring. And there we go. Isn't it pretty? It just tops it off. Love it. A little green on the inside and just on the tips there. You can see the metallic. And here is this one. Just such kind of plain. I just love it. I just love how this one turned out. Really, really cute. They weren't like perfect and exact, but they are just fun. They're just fun and whimsical, so that is the funnest thing about them. Here is, I put two flowers here and black little sea beads in the inside of those ones for the centers on the wet glue or hot glue, because <laughs> it was not wet, but it was hot still. And I put the jewels on the tips of that. So look at that. Isn't that just great? These are the five wonderful crowns I made, and I hope you guys enjoyed this video and give it a try. Um, use paper napkins as um, coverage on some of your projects and just go for it. You can really alter things and have fun. Thanks guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Bye bye.